Hello everyone and welcome back to my 164th Custom Farm Toys series. This is going to be a short episode, I just want to catch you guys up on a few quick things I've been doing. Um, I started to put down some uh, turf, I guess you would call it. It's a Scenic Express uh, flock and turf stuff. Um, just try, kind of trying it out. Uh, this is a pasture blend. Uh, it looks pretty nice and I'm only going to use it in this pasture area here. Um, I may put a, a finer green over the top of it to give it more of a spring look, um, but I am going to get something different for the road ditches and the lawn and all that. But uh, it's been a really easy product to work with, and it goes a lot further than I thought it would as far as coverage. Um, and I've just been using uh, Elmer's glue to put it down for now. Uh, once I have it the way I want it, then I'll spray some sort of top coat over the top of it. Um, another thing that I've been working on is my roads. And uh, I'm going to use a spray paint technique, and so... I have to have something down over the top of the styrofoam to uh, keep the spray paint from eating into it. And so I just go, went ahead and used uh, just styrene. Um, I don't know if it's the most economical way to do it, but it worked. Um, I will have to figure out a way to fill in the cracks because um, they are quite visible um, when you go through the process. But uh, anyways, um, I did just kind of a test area here. I'm going to show it to you guys here in just a second. Um, basically what I did was I used uh, two different colors of paint. I started with this uh, Rust-Oleum Flat Gray Primer as a base coat. And then I held this uh, Satin Ivory Silk about two feet away and sprayed down onto it. It's a trick that I learned off of a website online. Um, I forget what it was. I'll have to link it in the description. But uh, uh, it turned out really nice. Uh, and then I did, I, I'm kind of regretting it, but it's okay because I'm probably going to end up painting over the whole thing anyways. This was kind of just a practice run and, and uh, we'll paint over the whole thing and kind of start fresh. But uh, I did uh, try and throw a little bit of pink in there because they put like a crushed uh, pink rock on these roads at one point and kind of like reseal them. I don't know, they do that a lot in this area. But uh, I got some bigger splatters than I was hoping for, and so there's big pink specks in it here and there, which I was hoping to avoid. But uh, anyways, uh, you can do a lot of stuff then afterwards with using like the charcoal sticks and doing weathering and stuff like that. Uh, that looked pretty nice. But uh, anyways, I'll show you what I got done here. Um, I think it's an excellent look. It's definitely kind of what I'm going for in the end. It looks you know a lot more realistic than a lot of them I've seen. Um, but I just want to, I maybe went a little bit too far with the weathering. I uh, maybe got a little bit more brown here than I wanted. But uh, like I said, it's kind of a test strip. And uh, we'll, so we'll see where we go from there. But here you can see where that crack is pretty visible. So we'll have to come up with something to seal that crack up. Some sort of, even if I just end up using the drywall mud or something just to, just to smooth over that crack. But um, anyways, I, I think it looks pretty nice. Um, and then what I did was I ended up taping, taping the lines and painting the lines as well, uh, with just a spray paint, with just a white primer, and then I used, a uh, John Deere yellow for the lines, but, uh, I, I really liked the way it turned out. Like I said, I'll link the website where I found that out. Uh, also you can see here I got the hopper all painted up for the combine. Um, I've still got to do the rest of the combine, obviously, but, uh, I just set it on there to see how it looks, and I'll throw a picture in here of the the real life combines too and then you can kind of compare them but I really like the way that turned out it's given me the look I was going for um, I'll probably do some weathering and stuff on this combine once I get it done just to kind of show where the paint is rubbed off and everything else but uh, that's really all I had for you guys tonight I just wanted to show you what I got for progress on the road um, I may when I do it for real I may do a video of it I just want to be careful that I don't get a bunch of spray paint dust on my camera lens but uh, Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a like, share, subscribe, and uh, if you got any questions at all about how I did this, uh, just leave them in the comments down below, and I'll be happy to help.